The NASA Astrobiology Institute was established in 1998 by the National Aeronautics and Space Administration NASA to develop the field of astrobiology and provide a scientific framework for flight missions." The NI is a virtual, distributed organization that integrates astrobiology research and training programs in concert with the national and international science communities. History Although NASA had explored the idea of forming an astrobiology institute in the past, when the Viking biological experiments returned negative results for life on Mars, the public lost interest and federal funds for exobiology dried up. In 1996, the announcement of possible traces of ancient life in the Allen Hills 84001 meteorite from Mars led to new interest in the subject. At the same time, NASA developed the Origins program, broadening its reach from exobiology to astrobiology, the study of the origin, evolution, distribution, and future of life in the universe. In 1998, $9 million was set aside to fund the NASA Astrobiology Institute, an interdisciplinary research effort using the expertise of different scientific research institutions and universities from across the country, centrally linked to Ames Research Center in Mountain View, California. Gerald Soffin, former project scientist with the Viking program, helped coordinate the new institute. In May, NASA selected 11 science teams, each with a principal investigator NI was established in July with Scott Hubbard as interim director. Nobel laureate Baruch S. Blumberg was appointed the first director of the institute, and served from May 15, 1999 to October 14, 2002. On 2 December 2010, the institute announced that one of its funded projects at the U.S. Geological Survey had discovered the first microorganism able to incorporate arsenic in its DNA instead of phosphate. The GFAJ1 bacterium was found by team researchers at Mono Lake in California, but other researchers questioned and debunked the findings. Program The NASA Astrobiology Program includes the NI as one of four components, including the Exobiology and Evolutionary Biology Program, the Astrobiology Science and Technology Instrument Development Program, and the Astrobiology Science and Technology for Exploring Planets Program. Program budgets for fiscal year 2008 were as follows, NI – $16 million, grants for the Exobiology and Evolutionary Biology Program – $11 million, ASTID – $9 million, ASTEP – $5 million. Teams As of 2018, the NI has 10 teams including about 600 researchers distributed across approximately 100 institutions. It also has 13 international partner organizations. Some past and present teams are. International partners NI has partnership program with other international astrobiology organizations to provide collaborative opportunities for its researchers within the global science community. Astrobiology Society of Britain (ASB), Asterisk Australian Centre for Astrobiology (ACA) at the University of New South Wales, Canadian Astrobiology Network (CAN) at Centre for Planetary Science and Exploration (CPSX) at the University of Western Ontario. Spain Astrobiology Center CAB at the Instituto Nacional de Técnica Aeroespacial, Madrid, Spain European EXO – Astrobiology Network Association EANA. Helmholtz Alliance – Planetary Evolution and Life Instituto de Astrobiología Colombia IAC. Japan Astrobiology Consortium JABC, a partnership of the Earth Life Science Institute and the National Institutes of Natural Sciences Nordic Network of Astrobiology Russian Astrobiology Center RAC, Sociedad Mexicana de Astrobiología SOMA, Société Française d'Exobiologie 1 UK Centre for Astrobiology at the University of Edinburgh University of Sao Paulo International Associate Partners. 
All the rest are affiliate partners. Research Selected, significant topics of interdisciplinary research by NIE as of 2008 Comets in space and in the laboratory Discovery of the «rare biosphere» Early habitability of Earth Early wet Mars Exoplanet discovery and analysis Life without the Sun Metal isotope tracers of environment and biology Methane on Mars Microbial mat ecology Modeling exoplanet biospheres Origins of life Snowball Earth Sub-seafloor life The rise of oxygen and Earth's middle age <laughs>